The declaration of drought as a national disaster that has threatened food security has started garnering attention among global partners. From far afield, China says it is working at assisting Zambia with emergency food to respond to the effects of the drought on threatened food security. We are now working hard to mobilize large-scale emergency humanitarian food assistance to help Zambia overcome the current difficulties. As a demonstration of the all-weather friendship between our two peoples and a case in point of the future we share together when it comes to meeting global challenges. Mr. Wang also says China is engaged in extensive discussions regarding the commercialization and revitalization of the Tazara rail line. At the same event, UPND consultant Mark Simoe said Zambia needs to learn from how China has used philosophies from other parts of the world to blend with the local principles to develop. As at 2019, China's investment in Zambia had exceeded over 6.5 billion US dollars. That is a milestone for this country. A case in point that we can give is the NFC on the Copper Belt, which has employed thousands of, of citizens of this country. China's foreign policy direction is that of pursuing global peace, development, cooperation, and mutual benefit. And Zambia Institute for Policy Analysis and Research, ZIPA, Executive Director, Harry Kimpoku, called for the convergence of Zambia's and Chinese development aspirations. Zambia needs to develop its infrastructure, enhance production and international trade, improve the livelihoods and social conditions of its people, and for this, it will need to work closely with the international community and China in particular. Through the skills transfer the, and technology exchange initiatives, the Chinese experts have over the years empowered the Zambian personnel, fostering a culture of self-reliance and entrepreneurship. Meanwhile, Director of the Confucius Institute of the University of Zambia, David Mwanza, described China's foreign policy as the most humane because it does not interfere in other countries' internal affairs. Instead of just getting support, we need to learn. Learning from the principles and values that have made China to develop and prosper. This relationship transcends the bilateral ties between our two governments to embrace ordinary citizens of both countries. Wasauso, Mukwayaya, Zerimbisi News, Yusaka.